how to get back on track when your diet and exercise plan has fallen to the wayside. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fuggin. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, everybody from time to time falls off a good eating, nutrition supplement plan, whatever you want to call it, good healthy habits, and good exercise habits, you know? It's like when uh, you are procrastinating exercising for days, then months, maybe years in some cases, and then all of a sudden you just, you know what, something gets you back on track. Maybe it's that friend, maybe it's a special at a gym or with a trainer, something kicks it into high gear, right? And then all of a sudden you start to feel so good from exercise. You know, the first few workouts, you know, you are like just sore as can be. You're like, why did I ever quit this? This hurts so much. And then you get back in that rhythm, right? I mean, we're creatures of habit. So all you need to do is set good habits in motion. Um, but ultimately, some things come in and derail your progress. And it's happened to all of us. So um, I'll give you a personal story. Last week, I was on vacation and was simply enjoying a lot of the finer things and wasn't in the gym, but I was doing some hiking and some other things. So I was still active, but you know, when you eat a lot of stuff that you don't normally eat in your diet, you just don't feel the same. Uh, especially if you're going from a place where you're eating really clean and then all of a sudden, you know, you're adding in all this processed food, you're eating on the road. And, you know, to be honest, I enjoyed every second of it because I knew that it had an end point that I was going to stop and uh, it was going to be the one week mark. So, you know what? Here we are. Boom. I talked about in the previous video how I gained about a pound and a half. Um, I'm sure that that pound and a half is not fat. Uh, in just a week's time and then eating higher sodium foods, it's definitely water retention. Maybe a little bit of fat, but highly doubt it. It just takes a couple of days eating cleaner, exercising, and the weight will be back where it was, you know. Um, not that I'm even looking at the scale, but I'm looking at body composition. Am I putting on some lean muscle, getting strong in the gym, feeling good, and um, keeping definition, you know, seeing visual abs, uh, the body's tight, I don't feel bloated, close fit good, and what have you. But, you know, if you've been off for a little while and, you know, you're trying to get back on track and everything, you know, the thing is, when it comes to the nutrition side, of course it depends on what you're eating, you know, what kind of system you're doing. If you're doing like a keto diet or something, you're trying to get rid of all the processed food that's around you and tempting, and you're getting rid of, um, you know, anything that's, you know, sugar. So if you're, you know, you got used to having soda or beer or anything like that, you're getting rid of that. So you get rid of the things around you that are the temptation. And then you're stocking your fridge, your pantries with the right stuff. You know, you're going to the gr grocery store, getting all the things you need, anything you need to order from online. And then of course, you know, let's say your week starts Monday or you're gonna start your, you know, um, eating plan on Monday. Well, you're doing some meal prep. And it doesn't mean cooking all the food necessarily. Although I've been known to just take Tupperware, cook all the food that I need for the week for lunches or dinners, and basically throw it in one Tupperware. I don't even try to separate it. And then I just heat it up as I need it. It makes it real fast, real easy. And I just put things in there that I like to eat. So uh, fresh, or not fresh, but frozen vegetables, um, putting some kind of rice or cauliflower rice, things like that, some beans. And then of course some kind of lean meat, sometimes uh, red meat, and sometimes chicken, but you know, it's all good. And then maybe a little bit of seasoning, but you know, sticking to the staples, the good whole unprocessed foods. Um, having that food 
and having like any snacks that you have, like mixed nuts or protein bars or anything else, having it, you know, um, or shakes rather, you know, you need to have all of these things. That way you're taking all of the guesswork out of your eating, right? So if you have it all there, you spent good money on this stuff, you're less likely to make a bad decision and order a pizza or get hamburgers or eat, you know, something from out when you know you have your meals and you know you have your plan. And so you just put yourself in a good position to succeed. With exercise, if you're exercising in the morning before work or before school or whatever you're doing, have your stuff laid out. Have your workout clothes laid out, everything. That way, when you get up in the morning, they're staring you in the face. You don't. You have one less step you have to take, you know? Um, your supplements, get your supplements out. Whether you get one of those like little pill boxes that has the daily and just stock that up and put it someplace where you're gonna see it. You know, it's out of sight, out of mind. If you have all your supplements in the cabinet, then you're less likely to pull them out um, because you're not really thinking about it. So pull those supplements out, you know, put them in the little pill box, what you need for the day. Um, maybe it's in your car, I don't know. You know, wherever you can, you know, um, store them. That way, you know they're gonna be right in front of you and you're gonna be able, you're not gonna forget to take it. So doing those things and again, having your clothes laid out so that the next day, boom, if you're going to work and you're going right from work or school to the gym, then have all of that stuff um, you know, in a bag and in your car. That way you don't have to go home. Or even if you do go home, still have it in your car. That way the bag is already packed. You have no excuses. You don't have to go looking for laundry or anything. It just takes one more step out. That way if you're feeling a little tired or a little lazy and don't wanna go, um, you're more likely to go because you've already done the prep work. So, sorry about the bouncy camera, guys. I don't know how much the stabilizer on the camera is going to help, but the roads are just absolute garbage. I'll say that um, when I was in North Carolina, the roads were so smooth. Get back to Michigan, don't can't even get out of um, the airport without the roads having potholes and just all kinds of crap. The roads here suck. Our governor sucks because of it. So the hell with you, um, and we're going to vote your ass out of office. So, yeah, Gretchen Whitmer. Blech. So, anyways, guys, that's my story and my political rant at the same time because YouTube demonetized me. So, the heck with it. I'll say whatever I want. And uh, who knows? I'll, get, I'll be kind of a wild card here. But, you know, facts are facts. She sucks. The roads suck. Um, guys, stick to your guns. Do the right thing. You do that more days than you don't and you're gonna get results. If you've got a record of success in the past where you've been fit and you've stayed on plans before, don't try to reinvent the wheel. You have a formula that's worked for you. Just go back to that formula. If you need help, go to a trainer or look for fitness information that can help you as well. I know you can get caught in the um, tons of information and information overload from the stuff online. So if you're looking for a trainer, I also do that online fitness training as well as in person if you're close at Jimmy V Fitness. And you can find that at J-I-M-I-V, as in Victor, Fitness. I have a YouTube channel and you can also find me anywhere else that you go on social media. Reach out to me and we'll talk. Guys, enjoy your day. Hope you're well. Get on your plan. You can do it. You've been off the rails, but we're getting back on track. You know, it's the end of June. You still got a few good months of good weather here. You want to look and feel your best. And good fitness, good health affects every area of your life positively. So take care, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.